Let's go to Proverbs chapter 3, verses 11 through 12. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord. Neither be weary of his correction. Okay, verse 12. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth. Even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. So let's go to the expanded Bible here. My son, do not reject the Lord's discipline. Huh? And don't get angry when he corrects you. All right. The Lord corrects those he loves, just as parents correct the child they delight in. Okay. Something happened and I think something came to my mind. And you may believe I am wrong you may believe I don't know what I am talking about, and that is your choice to believe that. I believe something came to my mind, something like, I think I understand more of why I think God allows bad things to happen to us. Listen now. I don't have the scripture on me right now, but I believe it states something like God is not willing for anyone to perish. I may post it somewhere in the comment section or wherever. I'm not sure yet. But I believe there is a verse stating something like God is not willing for anyone to perish or something like that. Okay. If I am God and I don't want to send you to hell, what am I going to do? If, if you are going against my rules, and I don't want you to go to hell. What do you believe I am going to do? I think I am going to do something. To get you to stop doing what you are doing. And obey me, right? So let's say money is your distraction away from God. So what I may do if I was God and I don't want to be God, <laughs> believe it or not. If I was God and if money is a distraction to you from me, I would mess with your money. I would mess with your job. I would probably mess with whatever it is that is taking you away from me. Listen now. Back in my past, I had so many issues, like so many problems. Yes, I believe most of it was due to I was reaping what I sow. But I think some of it or maybe all of it was God trying to get my attention. I believe I made a video about seeing like a demon's face like a woman's, woman's demon's face over a human female's face for like 
two or three seconds or so, I used to be so sick in my past. I was more fit back then. I don't even, I am not even as active as I was back in the past, but I think I am more healthy now. How does that make any sense? I think I had so many problems in my past when I chose to not really obey God. I think ever since I made my mind up and became consistent in obeying God, I think things have been so much better for me and I am not saying I do and say everything right. I still do wrong things, but I am striving, I believe, for perfection. I think many bad things happen to some people. It's for God to get your attention. You may be angry at God. You may believe God took away this from you took away that from you, so on and so on. You may be blaming or angry at God for something bad that happened to you in your life. The thing you have to do, I believe, is ask yourself, were you serving God? Depending on the situation, of course, but I believe you may have to ask yourself, were you serving God? I think some of the bad things that happens to us or may happen to us isn't really bad because if that bad thing brings you closer to God, was that bad thing really bad? If that bad thing took you off the path of sinning, or sending in that way, was that thing really bad? What I believe, I was talking to someone and in essence, I guess I can say, I believe that person told me sometimes people Maybe I don't have all the words correct, but I believe that person told me sometimes people have to learn through pain. Sometimes people have to learn through pain. And that is how I was. I think one of the many reasons I changed because of having so many issues. I believe I had so many issues, so many. You may say living for God is very restrictive. You may say living for God is boring but how interesting is not living for God if you are receiving so many issues because you are not living for God? Like, how is that beneficial to you? How is that fun for you if bad things are happening to you because of how you choose to live in this life? Isn't living a restrictive life better than living in your own way and, I believe, being punished by it? Please listen. Think about this. Please think about this. 
would you rather have God leave you alone and allow you to do whatever you want, like not obey his rules? Would you like God to allow you to do whatever you want, sin against him, so on and so on, then die after time, then go to hell? Or would you like God to stop you? Should I say set up obstacles in your way to get you to turn away from sin and come to him, then die, then go to heaven. Which one would you like? Kevin, I want to live the way I want to. God has no right to do this or do that. Think about it, man. Are you telling me you don't want God to stop you? from taking yourself to hell. And you may say you don't care about going to hell. Okay, are you, are you able to handle being on fire for one hour? Are you able to handle being tortured non-stop or very often. Now, I don't know exactly how hell is going to be, but I believe it is going to be worse than what I have stated. So if that be the case, if you can't handle what I stated, how can you handle hell? Please listen. If you can't handle being on fire for one hour, how can you handle hell? Do you believe hell is only going to be a place where it is empty and dark and you can walk around and eat some pie and drink some tea? Do you believe hell is going to be like that? I think if you read in the Bible, hell, there is going to be torment in hell. I believe the Bible states something like where the worm dieth not, and probably something about the flame. Something like that. I don't have the scriptures on me or the scripture on me. So if you can't handle torment often or whatever, how can you handle hell? So in essence, if we are on the wrong path, I think it is a very good thing for God to set up obstacles in our way if we are going the wrong way. If I am sending myself to hell or on my, if I am on the path to hell, yes, I want God to stop me. Let trouble come. Let things happen to me to get me off that path to hell. Yes, I want it. I want it. And I believe you should want it too. If you are going down the wrong path, you should want God to stop you. Even if it takes for you to get cancer, even if it takes for you to get AIDS, even if it takes for you to lose all your money, I think that is a better outcome than going to hell and being tormented. Think about that. What is money if you are going to hell? 
What is a disease? How can I say that? If it takes something bad for you to change your mind about God, so be it. I want God to stop me if I am on my way to hell. Please stop me. I don't want to go to hell. Neither should you. So if God is allowing bad things to happen in your life to change you, I think that is great. I think that is a very good thing there. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 11 through 12. Neither be wary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. So I think some bad things aren't really bad. I think some bad things happen to help us to change. So let me stop here. God bless you.